The names of the U.S. residents who then became the presidents and got a view from the White House Lou of Pennsylvania Avenue. The country's cut into two, the red and the blue, Facebook's a toxic waste dump. The Fox friends are doting, the Russians are voting, and now there's a president Trump. George Washington was the first you see, he once chopped down a cherry tree. Tom Jefferson stayed up to write a declaration late at night, so he and his wife had a great big fight, and she made him sleep on the couch all night. Teddy Roosevelt charged up San Juan Hill, and it's Andrew Jackson's butt he kicks, so Jackson learns to play politics, next time he's the one that the country picks. James Madison never had a son, and he fought the war of 1812. And Lyndon Johnson took his spot. Then in 1929, the market crashes and we fight. It's Herbert Hoover's big debut, he gets the blame and loses too. Now in Washington, D.C. There's Democrats and the GOP. But the ones in charge are plain to see. The Clintons, Bill and Hillary. Franklin Roosevelt, president who helped us win in World War II. John Tyler, he like country folk. Obama brought hope, so Clinton thought dope. 2016 should be a real breeze. Or lost bad cause of one hanging chad. W hunted for WMDs. James Monroe's colossal nose was bigger than Pinocchio. Martin Van Buren, number eight, for a one term shot as chief of state. Lord Grover Cleveland, really fat, elected twice as a Democrat. And President Bush said, read my lips. John Quincy Adams was number six. And President number two would be John Adams, and then number three. Richard Nixon, he gets caught. Ronald Reagan's speeches, scripts all came from famous movie clips. After him came President Polk. John Kennedy had Camelot. It's Eisenhower who's got the power from 53 to 61. Joe Biden, 46. And Gerald Ford fell down a lot. Jimmy Carter liked campaign trip. And Zachary Taylor liked to smoke his breath. Killed friends whenever he spoke. William Harrison, how do you praise? That guy was dead in 30 days. Then Benjamin Harrison. 1850, really nifty Miller Bill in. It's 1877 and the Democrats would gloat. But they're all amazed when Rutherford Hayes wins by just one vote. President Taft, he got the bill. Young and fierce was Franklin Pierce, the man without a chin. It's William McKinley at the back. Warren Harding next in line. Follows next up, period spanning. Four long years with James Buchanan. Then the South starts shooting cannon. And we got a civil war. A war, a war down south of Dixie. <laughs> up to bat comes old Abe Lincoln. There's a guy who's really thinking. Kept the United States from shrinking. Saved the ship of state from sinking. Congress each would impeach And so the country now elects Ulysses Simpson Grant Who would scream and rave and rant While drinking whiskey Oh, the risky Cause he's it on his pants James Garfield Someone really hated Cause he was assassinated Chester Arthur gets instated Four years later he was traded In 1913 Woodrow Wilson Takes us into World War I Coolidge, he does fine. Harry Truman, weird little human, serves two terms and when he's done. The next president to lead the way. Well, it just might be yourself one day. Then the press will distort everything you say. So jump in your plane and fly away.